What's going on, everybody? It's about that time for another G Myers World podcast. I didn't even sit down yet. Nobody gives a shit what you're doing. I'm not really worried about it, but we're going to touch on some things. I guess you, you want to go ahead and start. Uh, I have no idea what we're talking about. I forgot already. Okay, that, that's fine. Do you make fine. a list? I don't make lists. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with what happened yesterday. What, what do you think about football being back? Oh, I'm excited. Okay, sure um, you are. Go ahead. I'm in three fantasy leagues. Okay. And I think I'm kicking ass in all three right now. But one of them, like, I have one person to play. Another person has, like, three, four people to play tonight. So okay, you're going to lose. But go ahead. I'm so how do you, so, one, so did anything, did, how, how did everything, how did everything go as far as you watching the games yesterday? Like, what, what? I mean, I was excited for Peyton Manning, first of all. He came out and really that just. Was that, that was bullshit. I played somebody. I played so somebody. Crazy. Listen, 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 and I had I, fucking Wells Walker on the bench. Listen, fuck Wells Walker. I'm so Peyton upset. Manning did mad and bullshit. There's no way that you throw seven touchdowns. And I played somebody that has him in the fantasy, and that's why I I'm pissed. I know you did. Other than that, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him that he did it. I'm happy but for him, too. Listen, listen, listen. But you don't I do really, it against I me, really Peyton. I like Peyton Manning. He's my second favorite quarterback. I really Who's like Who's your first him. favorite? Come on. You know who my first favorite is. Come on, what? Aaron Rodgers. Oh, okay. He's that, that's, that's a bad man in the words of Stephen A. Smith. And you know that's what? A bad man. what? What I like about Aaron Rodgers, he might not put up a 100-point game the way Peyton Manning did, but he's going to consistently he give me like 40 plus points every single week and he's been consistent every okay. time I every time I've had him Oh, you've been, had him. I've had him. And every time I've had him, he's given me the quality stuff. Oh, okay. week to week to week every time. Okay. So, so that was that that's was That's no good. problem, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I didn't really sit down and watch the the football as much as you did. I know that there was issues with um what's his name? Who? But Fumble Jones. No, his name is uh, actually Mark Sanchez. Oh, and like people are getting up in arms about his um his, his hair, headband. His, yeah, he, but he's... like, what do you want him to do? There's no all all hair products for the most part, except for like a couple, like a handful of shampoos and conditioners are geared towards men. Any man you said who, geared towards women, you mean towards women? Okay. Excuse me, women yeah. and, and girls. Okay. Any man who has long hair. Okay. Hold on. Oh. What's, oh, we just declared it. Oh, that's oh. Loop, Lupus Foundation. Oh. Okay. Asking for more stuff. All right, just go ahead. Just go, but just go ahead. Anyone, anyone who has long hair and... Leave that on the... Tr- le- oh, okay, you're going to no, leave it No, because you have to take it off in order to mute it. Anyone oh. who has long hair and uses something other than a rubber band has to go to the same aisle with all the women, the pink clips and the purple okay, so, body pins right. and everything else. So what you're saying there, is that no, you're, you're, no, you're saying that Clay Matthews wrapping his beautiful hair, which I think is very beautiful. And um, I'm saying that if you really take care of your hair, you're not going to throw a rubber band in there to hold your ponytail back. You're going to get um, you're going to get a ponytail holder. And the okay. ponytail holders are in the female section. The most that they'll have for men is those specific type of wave brushes for the African American Negro men. They okay. have a specific type of wave brush for their hair. Okay. And, and that's like, and that and a do-rag. Okay. That's but, the only thing I've okay. ever seen but, but what I'm geared saying, specifically okay, what I'm to saying men. Is what I'm and saying, like an S-curl kit. Okay, but what, what I'm saying, okay, but you're referring to black African-American niggas. I'm talking, uh, uh, Negroes. I'm talking about people like Palomalo with beautiful hair. Uh, people like Clay exactly. Matthews. Exactly. Palomalo is a good example. When he but he don't, he don't wear, twisted, he don't hear wear female because headbands. Because look how long his hair is. If Mark Buttfumble Sanchez were to put his hair in a ponytail, he would look stupid, and he's all about his how he looks. I'm not, his hair okay. is not long enough to put in a ponytail. So you're saying that he doesn't make him look long, like a fairy? No. You're saying that he doesn't look like a fairy? I don't think that he looks like a fairy. Okay, go if, ahead. if that go headband ahead. now had sparkles, or it was any wider than it currently is, that to me would be a little too feminine. But it's okay. green, which is the color, which is... But he wears, different, he wears different colors. He had purple ones, pink ones, but go ahead. Not even so much the color. Once you get too thick or if there's any like designs in it, that to me is a little iffy. But everything is, lines are being blurred. It's 2013. And guys who are straight, I guess it's called metrosexual or whatever. They're, they're no, they're now, called homosexuals. But go ahead. No, they're, they're heterosexual men yeah, they're called homosexuals. who like to take care of their skin. Who oh, have, that, that was, that, who that, have a routine. Those are called real niggas. They never make sure that a hair... Those are called real hair, niggas in the word of Riley Cooper. They never make niggas. sure that a hair is out of place. They get their eyebrows shaped. Oh. There's a lot of guys that do these things that at one point 
were thought to be only a woman a woman's thing. No, that's no but problem. I'm not saying, I'm not saying the headband. I don't care about the your, and, your and eyebrows and done. Putting, and shit. That's, I don't pushing about your that. hair back out of your face, first of all, is functional. And second of all, his hair is not his hair is not long enough for a ponytail, which is I guess is more acceptable. But he doesn't okay. have like a butterfly clip in his hair or something like that. It's just a headband keeping his hair out of his face. Okay, it so, makes sense. Okay, okay, I understand what you're saying. So you're saying that Clay Matthews is using a, a female uh, a I'm ponytail not saying holder. That, is that what you're saying? I'm not saying that it's a female ponytail holder. What I'm saying is all ponytail holders are in the same section as all the barrettes and clips and everything else that is catered towards women because women use it but what mostly. If, but, so there what if they have some products. made for men? They, there might be online somewhere. But if okay. you go to any general place, any beauty supply store, mm-hmm. any Target, Walmart, supermarket, mm-hmm. most it's mostly women that use those products. So those products are going to be geared mostly towards women. Yeah, but people, but men have longer hair. So I'm saying you've That's never true. seen a male And men have longer holder. hair and all they do with it is either have it out or put in a ponytail. Yeah. There's nothing else that they do with it. So it still doesn't make any sense for a company to market a male ponytail holder. They, it's just a ponytail holder. It's really not male or female. It's just a ponytail yeah, holder. Yeah, but, but, but what but I'm saying is... you have to go into the same aisle with the little girl barrettes and everything else in order to get it. Okay, I understand that. But with Mark Sanchez... He's wearing a female headband. It's not a female headband. It's just a headband. It's just a headband. Okay. It's but just it's, a it, headband. So why so why has why hasn't other men that have the same type of hair as Mark Sanchez used those things? They just don't want to, I guess. As a matter of fact, a lot of what what people do is they put their head back like, hair back like that with a headband when they're going to like wash their face or they're working out in the gym and something else like that. But when they go out into public, they don't. I know a lot of women like that. That will pull you, their hair back in a ponytail. You see men in the gym that wears... No, no, no. Oh, I'm oh, just okay. saying in general, that's what people do. I don't know. I'm not saying male versus oh, female. Okay, I'm just okay. saying people in general, okay. when they have hair a certain length, excuse me, they will. They need to put it back based on whatever it is they're doing. He was at work. He was at work doing something where he doesn't want to be flipping his hair back because to me, that's more feminine than having a headband on. If you're constantly flipping your hair back over okay. his shoulders and doing all that nonsense. That's crazy. Okay. But he's at work. He needs his hair to be out of his face. But he's not going to cut his hair just because he's at work because he has photo shoots to do and everything else. Okay. The best thing for him to do in that case, since he obviously doesn't want to wear a hat, is to wear a headband and pull it up exactly like he had it. Okay. All right. All right, so... That is the most functional way for you said. to get okay. your hair out of your face when it's that long. It's too short for a ponytail. He would look stupid if he pulled that back into a ponytail. Okay, so all right, so that, that's your point. Too you, long. Your point is your point is saying that it's basically unisex. Exactly. Okay, so something like Clay that Matthew, is unisex. So Clay Matthews' example, beautiful hair and um, Palomaro's beautiful hair. This, they, they use they they prefer to use uh, ponytail holders, but it's all unisex. Because their hair is long Listen, enough. Those for two men holders. have the most beautiful hair I've ever yes, seen. Yes, they do, especially okay. Palomaro. All right, I'm, I'm so saying jealous. I understand that you've been around with the guys. You know what I'm saying, and you've been doing your thing. What are you but, talking about? But um, okay, so we're gonna go on to the next thing. Um, what's Dwayne Wade's ex-wife's name? Oh God, I can't pronounce. Shavanam Shumtish. I can't pronounce. Okay, it. Shavanam Shumtish. Listen, I'm gonna just go right out here and just say this to you guys. Listen, I'm gonna. Tiger Woods, ex-wife. Mm-hmm. I supported what she did. I'm gonna tell you why I supported what she did, because if you're that blatant, first of all, you're capablation, and you actually say those words. Second of all, you're banging everyone in the world that's white. Well, not white, but Caucasian. You didn't give one black African American female, Negro, a, 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 even a whiff. Okay? Not only that, you were mad reckless by leaving voicemails and having real relationships with these jump offs. So, with that being said, that's the difference but to me between a black African American female Negro and a Caucasian woman. They know how to use it and who to fuck and what to, you know, what not to do in these situations. Like, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife wanted to get back at him. Mm-hmm. So she fucked a random guy and got gonorrhea. Mm-hmm. Okay. A Caucasian woman in that same situation, she may fuck somebody else. She's gonna wear protection. She's gonna still go get the divorce and get the money. But she's not going to go out and jeopardize her well-being by having unprotected sex to get back at her husband. I think the underlying issue is, and this is something that I've, I've always had in the back of my mind since I became a mom. There's something 
that Caucasian people say or do when they're raising their children that lets their children know no matter how much of a white trash piece of shit they are or whether they're freaking the Hilton girls, they let them know that the world is yours and you can do whatever. And they, 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 I don't know if, if it's something that's just inbred, mm-hmm. something that is in the media, what you see growing up, okay. but there's just something. And there are, remember, we, when we say all, we don't mean all. No, no, if, we never if mean we all. we ever say that, I just want to F- put that ever, out Yeah, there. yeah, we never mean all. Um, we tr- I try very hard not to say all. What is this? But unfortunately, most. I don't endorse anything that happens on the show. Yeah, me neither. And I may not be affiliated with it. Whatever that disclaimer is. But go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You know, most of the time, it's easier for someone who is Caucasian in this world mm-hmm. to go from nothing and become something. And they have this drive and this mentality like, you know, the world is mine. They don't, they're not scared of normal every, they do, they oh, have to do where you crazy going things. Go ahead. Because what oh. I'm saying is the way Tiger Woods' ex-wife was raised, mm-hmm. probably... Like ninety percent of that is uh, how she was raised affects what she did in that situation. Whereas a lot of these other women, especially if they're the woman that grew you know, up with the guy, okay, and they were in a poor, yeah, minority home, okay, chances are once they got that money, they didn't know what to do with themselves. Which one, the female? The female, okay. the male too. But that's a whole other topic. LeBron James the is female is, is, is an exception to the rule, but go ahead. He is so far. It seems as if he and his girl are yeah. have been an exception to the. They're rule. about to be married because they've month. been in this in the NBA for what, eight years now. Ten. He's, ten years. He came in the league when he was what? He was like seven, what, eighteen, seventeen. I don't know. I don't know, but I know he's about to be thirty. Oh no, because no, no. he did seven years at Cleveland. That's what it was. Yeah, I think he's like so, ten years in. I don't know what it is. So in all this time, they've been okay, but for the most part, they get all this money and this lifestyle is thrown upon them, and they don't know what to do. They don't know who to reach out. to. Majority, you're saying everything. Yeah, they okay. have, they're surrounded by an entourage who is whose whose goal is just to please them so mm-hmm. that they can enjoy themselves. Sort of like what Michael Jordan's entourage tell them, does. Never tells him that he's doing something wrong. Yeah, like with do the Hitler with, mustache. Yeah, with the Hitler mustache. Like there's mustache. nobody to okay. tell her, listen. This is the life. This is what you need to expect. And this is how you need to conduct yourself. There's a lot of Can I ask you my, a question minorities, I see where you're going with that. I see where you're families going not teaching their children so, how to conduct themselves. Let me, let me it's an ongoing cycle that needs to be broken. That, 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 that is a general, you're making a very, very wide and nice um, general statement according to, you know, black African-American females mm-hmm. of Negroes. But I just have to I just have to ask you a question when you're going into it because that's actually great knowledge for you know younger viewers growing up and, and what to expect as they get older. But what there's no excuse for what Dwayne Wade's ex wife did. People cheat all the time. I understand that, but there's no excuse for her to cheat and not wear protection. That's what I'm saying. That's my point of making. I'm not, no, I'm not okay. saying that there's an excuse for it. Okay. What I'm saying is it needs to stop. What which. It needs to stop. She, she cheated. Her, she, the she, interview she, she, that I... The she's interview, on interviews with her arm in a sling saying Dwayne Wade beat her while she was pregnant and did, and did a body slam from WWE. What I'm saying is this. She got I, fucked. And her mother was on there supporting it. Okay. And what I'm saying is... That's where is, she gets it from. Her mother's mother probably... It, at some point, the cycle has to stop. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but she had sex unprotected. Look, she's married She's married to Dwayne Wade, People a celebrity. People do it all the time. What I'm saying is... People do it all the what time. What I'm saying is she got gonorrhea. Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, so... What, there is no excuse for that. There, there, nobody needs to tell you that you need to there's wear protection. No, it's no, not your husband. You're cheating on your husband. Yes. So, so you should be wearing a, a condom. But you know what? If if that was the case, then AIDS wouldn't still be so so crazy and so rampant nowadays. What do you mean? People don't use protection. I know, but how? It, uh, what I'm, I'm specifically saying, like a like married married women uh-huh. that 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 are going to do stuff that, like cheat or do whatever they're doing, or men, whatever. They 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 usually do that. They don't. They don't just go and they cheat. They usually use protection. They usually use protection. If you're married, if you're just in a relationship, it's like girlfriend boyfriend. Uh-huh. People are going to just whatever. It doesn't matter. But, but see, that's not pe- people should always be using protection, no matter what the situation is. Yeah, if but, you're but, but married what's the excuse? and you know that you're in a monogamous situation, which if your husband or spouse is an actor actress, if they're making millions of dollars and if their job has them to, requires them to travel, then. You you probably are not in a monogamous a monogamous relationship. Okay, but so you gotta fuck these I bitches. What's I up? don't think that you know. It's like what's her excuse? You can talk to your blue in the face about that. That's that to me is not the point. 
she wanted to get back with him. She got gonorrhea. She gave to him. That's all nonsense. My issue is what, what led to that point. Well, hold on, wait a minute. You, and how do you say we, you don't have an issue do with we, her doing that? With her having unprotected sex? I said sex? that's not the oh, main that's issue. Oh, that's not the issue. Okay, so what? The main issue is what makes her think that that behavior is okay versus what makes Tiger Woods' ex not do that? That we know of. Yeah, that, that we, we know, know of. of. Yeah, she was getting fucked, but she just didn't do it like that. This white woman's getting fucked. She just didn't do it like her. The, okay. Ty, 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 listen, listen. I'm not... You got to understand. I supported her what she did with Tiger Woods. I'm not saying that she was innocent. Mm -hmm. They know the game. They play the game. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. Listen. My, so you're saying that the whole Tiger Woods thing became crazy because it, it became too public. That's what I'm saying. Listen. It became disrespectful in the face. Listen. A lot of and, women... And listen, Tiger Woods' father passed away before... Before, yeah. Yes. And so he probably okay. is another one that has an entourage, no one to sit him down and say, listen. But, but just think about everybody this, Everybody knows that professional athletes this. are having extramarital affairs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Don't you, make yeah. it so goddamn obvious. But, but it's not about making it obvious. It's about the disrespect level. A lot of women... Well, make, to me, listen, making it obvious is making it disrespectful. No, but I'm saying... No, the, the disrespect, People calling the, your house the, the, and all No, but nobody stuff. called. It's a voicemail that she got. Nobody was calling the house. Listen, this is what the problem is. Nobody called. She went through his phone and got the voicemail. And then she put the voicemail into the public, which she should do because that helps her case. But what I'm trying to say is this. Ty somebody called him, him yeah, and somebody left called, the voicemail. Left the voicemail. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, but being it wasn't, obvious. But I'm saying, it, no, but that's, the, the phone didn't, it wasn't like a phone ringing thing. It was like he, he, he left a message for her and the female used it and got it back to the wife. He oh, left a message. Well, no, she okay. didn't call. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He's like, yeah, this is Tiger. You sound like Michael Jackson. All you right. know, may he rest in peace. But listen to what I'm trying to say about this, though, about Tiger Woods, though. And the difference with the raising. I'm not saying that she wasn't getting fucked. Because 99% of the time they are too. Mm -hmm. But they're smarter about it. And it's not even the fact about, okay, the way she was raised, whatever like that. It's the fact that they just don't want something to happen to them because they want to continue... You know what I'm saying? To live for for whatever reason it is. Yes, they there's, want there's, to a certain, there's a certain type of you, yeah, yeah. They they want to do it. Self worth. Yes. That you see more in the Caucasian, what ethnicity or whatever they're called. Yes. Than you do in African Americans. They they have more of a self worth and they put themselves on this higher pedestal. Yes, as they should. As they should, as everyone should. Everyone you know, you know why they should. Listen, but certain people think that they're not worth. Listen, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna touch on that what you just said right there. I mem remember when I was going fanatic about Constantine and mm -hmm. the Emperor of Rome, and I had all those books or whatever like that. I actually, mm -hmm. give me a couple of books. In in one of the one of the philosophers and um, uh, archaeologists ar archaeologists that wrote that book, they they made a comment in the beginning of it. They said it's funny because the Negroid. Mm -hmm. is the oldest form of life that of was humans, of humans. Exactly. Okay, but listen, listen to what he said. He said it's fascinating that when you look back into BC and the record books, that there's no reference to African American Negroes. But the oldest You mean African. Black African American. I'm talking about I'm talking about not the, African American because we yeah, weren't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying I'm just saying the black the color the color. Yeah. You're saying people of color. Yeah. It's fascinating that there's no reference to them in these times. Like when you're talking about ancient Rome and stuff like that. It's fascinating to him as a philosopher and an archaeologist because he actually investigated the proof of the Negro, the Negroid skull. Because mm -hmm. they were already called, they, they, they referenced it as a Negroid skull. And this book was written in um, 2000, 2001. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the philosopher's name, but he, he said in the beginning as a preface, because I always read the preface to the, you know, to the books. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating to me, after he gave, you know, the book was about giving Constantine credit and everything like that, that there was never any reference of any change in color. Mm -hmm. It was, he spoke, Constantine spoke as if the people were of him, of his descent. Keep in mind that this man was, he, he, his mother was like some maid whore that the father, when he was out, like going traveling through time or whatever, uh, through, through whatever, doing whatever he had to do for war, with battles or whatever he was doing, as a, as a military guy at that time, mm -hmm. he just fucked a, a maiden and got her pregnant. That's, that's what, technically, they, they showed a reference from him being like, you know, he was a bastard child. He was a child. bastard child. Okay. But, but, the point of what I'm saying is, when you just say that, you make a great point. That's why I say as they should, because they were able to come in, even though they didn't have the head start, and take it. So if our predecessors before us, that's why that's why we something that we do is we always try to express that people should try to stand up for themselves and you know what I'm trying you know what I'm saying build themselves up to get something that we all as you know what I'm saying as 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 a unit mm -hmm. can say that we maintained. Um, you just you just basically said it in a nutshell right there. They are. 
taught with that type of mindset. Mm-hmm. And they should be. Because they, if you look at anything in history, it, it's plain as day to see that the Negroid skull was one of the first artifacts found. So, so we're the basically the oldest race, yes. if you will. Yes, based on based on based but on actual still proof. the most primitive. Yes, basically, and that that's why I'm saying. So when you say that, that's why I don't blame them. Like like for instance, when I talk about the stuff when I was doing, like when I when I was at when I was in Boston, and I and and I fir- I remember I remember like it was yesterday when I first got there because because my mom even though she you know she had like eighteen she had like eighteen jobs whatever she had no money. I had, yeah, the full, I, had the, I had the full scholarship. Yeah, yo, yeah, listen, all right, take it easy. What? She, she, I, I had a full scholarship, so they sent the check that showed 36000 whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, like it's, it's like a copy of the receipt. If you ever get a, f- a full scholarship and they show you, they send you the paperwork, this is what the cost is going to be, but this is what we're covering. So they just let you know that, look, it's $36,000 at that time. This is what it's going to be. So she was like, look, uh, it's going to be hard for me, but I'm going to borrow money. I'm going to get you to take a plane there. She didn't want me to like take a bus and travel crazy. So I got off the plane. And when I got off the plane and I went there because, because I was an athlete, a black African-American athlete, and the scholarship was for at, be, being athletic, they, they, they took me away from the dorms. You know, it was an apartment complex in, in a separate, separate road, whatever like that. It was an apartment complex. So when I arrived there and I, and, and, um, I, I went into the door, the RE was this Caucasian girl. And she was like, she, she was like can I help you? I'm like, What? Because it was crazy because other wrestlers that had better records than me were in the dorms. Mm-hmm. But because of the relationship that I got from having two conversations with the coach, the wrestling coach of the school. Because he was like, you know, I'm looking at what you were doing. You know, I, only, I see you only been wrestling for so-so, whatever like that. He was like, what are, what are you, what, how can you tell me that it's going to be worth my while to give you the scholarship? And, and I then said, based on whatever you said. Yeah, you based on it. whatever I said, I got it. But you but, not only you got the scholarship, you also got the better housing. Better housing than all the other freshmen that wow. came in with better records than me. They had better, you know, more statute, everything. Not not to say that like when I first started though, they the first week of practice, they were all over my ass. By the end of the month, I I, I gained starting rights and yeah. whatever over them. But it, it, it it's what I said to him. Now when I got into when I got there, I landed there. I only took a book bag, and I had like a carrying bag with me. Mm-hmm. And and I will never forget when I opened the door, my re, you know, you know what I'm saying? She, she says to me, she says, "Can I help you?" My, and I and and the, and the reason that she said it because in my complex I had another athlete who was a basketball player that was from Spain, mm-hmm. and I had another athlete who was a rower. Mm-hmm. Of course, they're Caucasian. Mm-hmm. So she's like like basically saying well, to me, "The Spain is a." Guy from Sp- Spain. Guy from Spain, Spaniard. Spaniard. He's a Spaniard, but the other guy was a Caucasian, the rower. Mm-hmm. You know, he was a typical but guy. Either way, their skin color is yeah. He was the guy up on the total. He was like the guy that was. he was like the guy that created the idea of Facebook before the other du- guy stole it. That yeah. type of rower. He was like he's like Diesel, or whatever. Yeah. You know I'm saying Diesel, white dude. Uh, well, Caucasian dude. All right. So she says that to me, and I said, I said, is this so and so the address? And then she immediately, oh, I'm so I'm so sorry because what happens is, but what what. Here's my thing. Yeah. I try very, very hard not to pull the race card. I understand. What should she have said? Because she doesn't have a picture of you to know who you are. She answers the, sto- answers the door and says, hi, can I help you? No, she didn't say, hi, can I help you? She didn't say, hi. Listen, so, I have a key. So you listen have- to me, listen to me. I have a key. They mailed me my goddamn key. So, you so I stole. The door? I stole. Yeah, yeah. I opened the front door because you see. You, listen, I thought you said she answered the door. Yeah, because I you knocked no, the door. And she, she was answered no, the no. Door. She was like right there. They mailed me my goddamn key. So you. I know I'm a black African American Negro, but I'm not gonna. I'm a black African American Negro, but I can't steal somebody's key, replace it, and 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 I'm there a week before school starts. No, because the way you started the story, I thought that you knocked on the door. No, 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 no. And she answered the door no, and no. said, "Can I help you?" No, no. I don't see anything wrong with that. No, no. I don't see anything wrong with it either. But 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 you have it's sort of like you have to you would have to be there to see her face. You know what I mean? No, I understand. No, no, what I I'm saying, look, listen. I just want to make sure that it's body clear. language. Yes. And there are other nonverbals. Yeah, that let you know like that let you know. It doesn't matter what you say exactly. It's everything else that goes along with it. I understand look, that. Look, that's look, what I'm just listen, trying to get look, you to clarify. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad you want me to clarify. I'm glad, I'm glad you said it so I could clarify it, but I opened it up. So but you she was the there. Door. You have a key. You yes, open the door. I opened the door. She was there. She's like, "Can I help you?" Uh-huh. Not okay. even, not even a high. No, can, can I, I help, help you? you? So I, you know, I, I didn't go like, oh, you know, what I'm saying like, be a typical, uh, yes, I know. nigger with the er, as Riley Cooper would say, for lack of better words. In the words of Riley Cooper, I wasn't a nigger. Okay. Okay. So 
I just said, yeah, um, yeah, I'm so and so. This is what is going. On. Oh, okay, um, you know, so, uh, why? Then you tell she me, became nice. Then she became nice. Then she became nice and helpful. Oh, okay, you're you're gonna be here, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't just that being the fact. Is that I knew that that was something to be expected. Because but of where you are. Because of because of what I came from. You gotta understand. I shouldn't have got that scholarship. You gotta think about what I'm saying. Like what? I, look, listen. To be honest with you. There was like four or five other guys. We had a guy from Kentucky. We had somebody that was pretty close to us in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. It was um, uh, another guy came from some kind of Midwest state. It was a it was a bunch of Caucasian people. They, you got to remember wrestling was with a team mostly Caucasian. Yes. Okay. The, uh, Is wrestling still a Caucasian dominated sport? Because not- we were also talking about that too. Yeah, but when they were talking and like about I said, I want I want to congratulate the, the IOC adoption. for allowing us to get back in there. Well, uh, for 2020, you know, allowing they, they, they shouldn't have ever had it yeah, on the chopping block. They're, they're pieces of shit. But what I'm saying is, yeah, wrestling right now. There, there's a lot of Black African American Negro wrestlers that have won, um, mm-hmm. the, the the school, Olympics? the school, yeah, Olympics. Not well, not Olympics, but the school championships of okay. the previous of the, of the year of the NCAA that just happened. Yeah. Um, we still have other guys. Uh, what well, I forgot, I forgot the dude's name that won it in every category. Uh, Kyle D- D- Dake or something. I forgot what his name is, but there's certain things that they still basically have the control over it. Can we go off on another tangent? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because you, you were, talk, were talking about um, that Caucasians are mostly, they, they're the dominant. Yes. They came over from Europe, gave us all kinds of diseases, and fucked our women. We were, wow. We were talking about, because um, they were talking about the read option. Yeah, yeah. Is, 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 it it a fa- is it a fad or is, is it, it staying? Is it a fad or is it here to stay? stay? Yeah. And one thing that we noticed is... The re I, I think mm-hmm. my personal opinion mm-hmm. is the reason why they're wondering if it's a fad is because the only people that are really doing the read option are the new QBs that are coming in, and all of them are black are African, minorities, black African American Negroes. Well, Kaepernick is mixed, so I but he's still a black. He's that. still a black African American Negro. He might refer he got, to himself as that. I won't. He has a big dick. What? I'm just gonna tell you right now. You just know it, right? I just now. know. It. I just by know the right look now. On his face. By the look on his face, because you know why I know it. Because why? the way the way that he carries himself. Mm-hmm. Listen, little some. I have been fooled, and mm-hmm. there has been some little dick dudes mm-hmm. that I thought had big dicks, and I actually seen the dicks for myself as proof. And then you're like, oh no, that's little. Yeah. But was it hard when you saw it? I don't know. Because that I makes a difference, doesn't it? I, I, it doesn't. Listen, you you know exactly where it's going. But a person that's small, when they're small, might be big when they're hard, right? Yeah, that can happen, but you, you know there's a limit. Okay. Men know there's a limit. Women don't know what's going on. See, I, I, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to tell you this right now. B- based, on, ba- based on my research and me knowing what I have in my pants. about Kaepernick's What I'm saying size? is, you got to understand, when you go through life and oh my when God, you pull your pants down and it's like, what's happening? <sighs> huh, What? Nothing. Go what ahead. You, what, Keep what talking you, about yourself. Go I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about Kaepernick's dick right now. You just talked about yourself, and you said, "Why are you, you so go frustrated by my dick size?" I don't want to talk about it right now. I want to talk why? about other issues because no, so we're f- almost at 30 minutes already. Okay, but why are you so? And 29 you, of those minutes why do you have get been so crazy? about you. Why do you get so crazy? So anyway, yo, listen, hello. It's is, my is, opinion that do your the reason cheeks, why the they're clap? talking about what? Do your cheese clap? I don't know. I'm okay. learning how to do it. Alright, listen, but I'm just gonna tell you this right now. Kaepernick has a huge cock. Anyway. Okay, but listen. It's my opinion Go that ahead. the reason why they're thinking that it might be a fad is because I I haven't seen any Caucasian quarterbacks be able to run the read option. I haven't well, been able to see it. No, no, but what but I'm saying is Johnny Manziel is gonna change that, but for the most part, Caucasians do believe that black people have an extra bone. Uh black African American niggers have uh not niggers, Negroes. Have a bl- have an extra bone in their legs because they move kind of fast. And when we were talking about it, you said that that's the last position on the football team, main position. Not main. talking about linemen and yeah, stuff like cause that. Because nobody gotta have a, really you, you gotta pays have a, attention yeah. to them. Too you gotta much. have a Caucasian center to be successful in this league. But black people. That's be- the last main known position that is that is still predominantly Caucasian. Mm-hmm. Everything else is being kind of taken Snatched over. Snatched away. You will. Take, Snatched you know, away like a thief in the night. Not not head coach, but that's a whole other issue. But as far Listen, as the athleticism... I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now, though. Lovey Smith deserves to be fired, but go ahead. As far as athleticism? As far as the athleticism goes, 
It's priority, African American. You said priority? People. Did you just mix priority and prior? I probably did. Okay, it's go primarily, ahead. Primarily, that's what I yes. was to say. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I might make up a couple no, words. No, no, stop, stop. Just get away from it because you that was a ridiculous word you just made, but go ahead. So, just wanted to know what your opinion is about the, the read option. I think it's like unstoppable. It's guaranteed to get you a first down, I think. Listen, Green Bay played wrong. Kaepernick very, very wild. Yesterday, did they? And they showed that, that that read. What? All right, they showed that that read option don't really mean shit. I'm gonna tell you why it doesn't really mean shit. If you have a disciplined defense, mm-hmm. you can stop the read option no problem. And Kaepernick showed yesterday that he's not a read option quarterback. That he's dead on accurate, and he don't got to. Oh, that. he was throwing some darts, darts. yo! Wow, that, that's that's. Kaepernick, I don't yo, know listen. why I didn't pick him up. Yo, listen, second string that's TV. listen, listen. But what? All right. Behind, behind the Caucasian man, you want to put him. See, that's what the... Where he belongs. Okay, ex- okay. so listen. No, it- that's not why. I'm just joking. Aaron Rodgers has been my go-to QB for the last three, four years that I've been doing this. You won one he's ring and reason, you think you're a championship reason, over- Aaron Rodgers is the reason why okay, I won on. that. You're like Brett Favre. You're like Brett Favre. I don't give a damn. As long as, I, as long as I got one, one I'm not Dan Marino. You're not comparing me to him. Has he killed himself yet? Okay, so listen. I'm going to tell you this right now. I agree with you to a point as far as... You agree with me with the whole thing. No, I don't. Because I don't agree with the fact that you're saying that you put Kaepernick behind Aaron Rodgers because that's just a slave trader. I put him behind him because Aaron Rodgers is guaranteed money. Kaepernick, this is only his second year in. I don't know what he's going to do. So you're a slave trader. Look at Cam Newton. Cam Newton had a Don't even say those two words. Don't he even say those two names together. Keep your hand on my dick. Keep my hand on my dick. And then the next You did that purposely. And I had to block you off. Yo, you were like, you like, yo, hands. yo, come on, like, who does that? Who I does would. that? Who does that? No, but look, okay. and that's would. the way you stop people from talking. That's not. I was all right. Okay, now I know that's the way you do it. By the way, you no. just stopped. All I did was grab your hand. No, no, no. Hand. That's what somebody wrote. You put yep, your yep. hand next to your penis because you're oh, you're so fascinated by it. Every single goddamn you, podcast that, that we do is about yeah. your damn so you, penis. Okay, so What's you know. We're not even talking about football okay. and gonorrhea, and now we're talking about your damn penis. So you know that this is going somewhere, and you're, you're, you're worried about what's happening. I just seen that in your eyes. But I know what's going somewhere. <laughs> what are you I just see about? You, women are so easy to read. So you realize where this is going. Go where what's going? Where this whole this whole movement's going. What the whole read option movement? No. The whole the whole G Myers World movement. Why you looked at my dick to, to, when I said the G Myers World movement? Uh, what are you what are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's what the why are you so Crazy and excited with the vein popping out. Why is the vein popping out right here? What are you talking you about? The muscle? G Miles World Movement. What are you, you guys mu- doing? Some what? kind of march or something? What are you talking about? The march? What the hell? You, this is you know, Black Operation Pride shit. What are you talking about? No, you're getting very volatile about my penile. That rhyme. That rhymes. I hate What's you. What's the reason? Okay, so look, I'm going to tell you this right now. So anyway. You just blatantly said you wanted to put the black QB. Well, no, not, not black. We don't use that. Black African American Negro QB behind the Caucasian QB. Go ahead and tell us why you said that again. Because Aaron and you said Cam Newton in the same line of Kaepernick, which is unacceptable. But go ahead. I pu- I would put Kaepernick as my second string behind Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers and I have a history together. Hold on, let me just stop you there. You have a history. <laughs> Yo, we'll Aaron Rodgers okay. is arguably. Mm-hmm. The best QB mm-hmm. in the league right now. I don't care what Flacco is getting paid because Flacco only was able to do what he did because Rice and Anquan Bolden saved his dumb ass. I agree. So he did Aaron make good. Rogers, he did make quality throws at the end, though. Go ahead. And then Peyton Manning has been work, you know, working on injuries, getting situated with a new team. Okay. Aaron Rodgers is the best QB in the league, so of course I would put him first. Okay. Kaepernick is still a rookie. We still don't know if he has lasting power. He was great his rookie season. We don't know if he's going to be able to top that, if he's going to be able to match that or even come close to that again. He, has, you, he hasn't he, put he just, his time in. Okay, listen. I, I'm, I'm just going to just try to help you out right now. Kaepernick is not your typical guy that you have to wonder what's going to happen. Kaepernick is a guy that... Uh, so you're uh, saying uh, from uh, that uh, one season that you saw that he's guaranteed money. Jim Harbaugh, 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 Harbaugh was an actual QB. You, when you're a QB, when you were a previous QB, 
you know, that's like me, and I go to like a wrestling meet. I remember I went with one of my friends. Here we go, him talking about okay. himself again. No, I, no, no, a couple years back, and I actually got a call, I got an email this guy about other stuff uh, today. I went to a wrestling meet after I was done wrestling and stuff like that, and we went just to go see our, see our old high school, mm-hmm. um, whatever. And um, I was watching the matches, and I was able to predict the winners of every match. Mm-hmm. So he said to me, he's like, he's like, yo, you changed a lot since high school. How could you figure it out? How did you know that de- that, that guy was going to do that, this guy's going to do that? And I told him the evolution of the difference between high school and college mm-hmm. makes you see things differently as, as it pertains to what anyone else does. Like, you know, their movements and stuff like that. Okay. Jim Harbaugh, when he chose to put him, to take him and put him in over Alex Smith, because, you know, Smith got hurt or whatever like that. He knew what he was doing. The problem was like what you're saying right now, how would he last until he actually took the chance on him. He played and won some huge games last year. You're right. Now he started the first game of the season mm-hmm. with 400 yards. Yes. And like three TDs. And he's the first quarterback to do that since like 1960 or some stupid shit. Okay. You don't... Cam Newton had a great losing rookie season. He was losing. He went 4-12 and 12 or some nasty shit like that. He put up yards and broke records. He was losing. Mm-hmm. Kaepernick won. When you win and you go through those trials and tribulations, it's a different growth. Okay. You're so right. what I'm saying to you is this. Kaepernick is a dangerous man because he not only showed he can run the read option, but that he could throw the ball, throw a dart, darts. Yo. And oh who's the only God. other quarterback I give credit for throwing darts? Tom Brady. Mark Sanchez. Tim Tebow. Those are all the quarterbacks. Your boyfriend, Aaron Rodgers. I always <laughs> say that he's throwing darts. And Kaepernick throws. Remember, remember this. Remember this man. If you if your game. phone, your phone is a stop. But this man was a pitcher in college. Uh, Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the same velocity that this man is throwing. He was throwing dots. Okay, across the field, and he's supposed to be a read option quarterback. Now that's not to say that RG three can't throw the ball and that Michael Vick can't throw the ball. Um, Russell Wilson can't throw the ball because Ru- Russell Wilson let it fly yesterday. It was very impressive, mm-hmm. but. Kaepernick is like something I haven't seen. Yeah. And I'm just going to be honest with you. If that man is able to keep even a decent surrounding cast, even with what was there now, with that defense and that offense, I- I'm sorry about the whole thing about the loser of the Super Bowl not making the playoffs the next year. Because that, that's been happening for like the last 20 years. When you lose in the Super Bowl, you don't make the playoffs the next year. You just you just suck. They might change it. Kaepernick might change it. It's that. not might. They're going to change it. Because Jim Harbaugh... He's not only a... He, Didn't the Harbaugh he, brothers trade Anquan Bolden so now the other one can get a ring? I don't know what... Listen, I don't want to speak like allegedly, that because... Allegedly, You want the why. NFL to pop... You UFC family guy, when you say something about the NFL, they pop up at your house. NFL is very powerful. <laughs> so I'm allegedly. Not gonna, okay, listen. Regardless of what happened, Kaepernick deserves a lot of credit. Okay? And that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying to you that for you to say that you would bench... You know, basically put Aaron Rodgers ahead of Kaepernick when Kaepernick is actually, to me right now... Probably one of the best, the best quarterbacks available to, to get drafted, well, and he proved me, that week one. Well, he now, proved the week now, one. Listen, he did listen, than, uh, but now time. you have to look at who you're talking to. I don't watch football and go as deep into football as you do. You know all the stuff about Kaepernick. You have no idea when our wedding anniversary is, or no. my birthday, or the kid's birthday, no, or no. anything else like that. So Walgreens. So anyway, because you're a fucking you, I hate you. Don't touch me. Just don't yeah. don't touch me right now. Come on. Don't touch me right now. Come on. Don't, I said don't freaking touch me. Get off me. You're such a jerk. <laughs> there you go. Now you want to color. Get, get out of here. Now go ahead. Do what you gotta do. Go ahead. so stupid. Now go ahead. I don't know what I was saying. Exactly. That's the power of the P now. Now I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. Whatever. The bottom line is this. She, 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 you, you made, you made great points about the whole situation. Aaron Rodgers oh, is a beast. I don't know football like that. That's why I would put Aaron Rodgers you know, first. You know, I take it from the but I'm going to tell you this right now. You're just going to keep doing those things and mumble those inappropriate things during every podcast? Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. Once once I get ready for this app that's out, uh-huh. and they do the behind the scenes of the stuff that's going on, they haven't seen it inappropri- inappropriate yet. Oh, the behind the scenes stuff is going to be triple X rated? Yeah, that's going to be only for the people that have the app, but I haven't it's started. It's going to be NC-17? I'll, I'll go NC-96. So you have to be 96 years old. What does NC-17 mean anyway? Nasa Got it. Okay, so the basic the, the basic point of this whole situation is, I don't know. I have no idea what we've been doing this whole time. What are we talking about? I have no idea. So I think we've, we've spoken enough. We I, started, I, a, we started I, by I talking know. about 
that girl, D- Dwayne Wade's ex-wife. There was something else I wanted to No, we to said something up. previously before that, but I don't know. Oh. Mark you know Sanchez. what? I wanted to go off on a- another tangent. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Because we were talking about um, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife versus Tiger Woods' ex-wife mm-hmm. and how there's just something that Caucasian, Caucasian people teach their children mm-hmm. that teaches them to have a certain self-worth. Yes, over, over the black African-American Negroes. This ugly bitch. Which ugly bitch? This... Black, I don't want to say, say African-American Negro. Just say woman of color. Woman of this color woman of color. Yes, what happened? Tell me. Who tell is me. so ugly. This, tell me. Tell she's me She's a comedian and she's on one of those talk shows where women get together and talk. I can't watch them. Okay, who was it? Tell me. I don't remember her name. Cheryl Underwood or something like that. Okay. Well, the, view, the viewers figured out. I, you, yeah, you the know who I'm talking out. about. We don't anyway, know who the fuck we're talking about. But what happened was, they talk, somebody brought up uh, so, the fact that Heidi Klum, Mm-hmm. Who has children with seal? So her kids, you know, got the little swirl on. Oh, that that's Heidi a Klum, term. Go ahead. When she like cuts this. her kids' hair, mm-hmm. she saves their hair. A lot of parents. You do that too. Save... You do that too. Exactly. Yeah, that's fine. So I didn't think anything of it. Mm-hmm. And the re- now I I belong to certain hair care forums because my hair is natural. I've been natural for three and a half years. Congratulations. I I'm very proud of it. Congratulations. It's, and, it's paying um, off. And that was a big deal because I had never known how to take care of my hair. But you looked into yourself. But I finally said to myself, this can't be right. All these things that my family has told me, that other people have told me over the years Who can't be right. Who supported you during this whole thing? What? Who gave you support? Oh, oh, I mean nothing. Yeah, you're right. No, nothing. Not no, 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 I give you credit because you said that you don't like the weaves and the extensions and everything else. But, so but what did I like? You wanted me to just wear my just hair. You. Just me. Don't start, okay? Don't start. What? Don't don't start. Anyway. Why are you getting all wet and gibbery? So anyway, this woman, they're talking about Heidi Klum saving her hair. Cheryl Underwood. I think it's Cheryl something. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Anyway, I should probably take notes before we start talking. I don't do that. Go All ahead, right, finish so up, it'll finish just up. continue to be lowbrow. The, this is what this is what they get. Go ahead. Anyway, she makes a comment that no African American woman would want to save their nasty nappy hair. She, she didn't used, say that. She, didn't she say that. used she the word nasty she and she used that. the word nappy. She yes, that. she did. Show me proof right now it's that she all, said that. I'm I'll, about to go off on this trip. I'll look. I'll I'm about look to go off on this punk bitch trip. I'll look it up for you. She said that, and she said nasty nigga. nasty nappy hair. So then, one of the uh, hell's this, no. One of the girls she played on Roseanne. Okay. She's on the show, and she tried to save her, and she said, "You know, no, I saved my kids' hair." She said, "Yeah, but your child's hair is all silky and pretty, not nasty and nappy. Nobody wants that." That's what she said, and that. Do you have proof of this? Her, yes, I have proof. Are you okay, kidding? listen, I'm about to stop because you know I believe in proof, so I'm about to I'm about to see something. What you're talking about? Because if this bitch, and I mean. Black African American female. And the reason why I knew about it because I read her apology first, and she said she tried to make a joke and it missed the mark. Are you kidding me? You can't. Th- under no circumstances could that even be considered funny. When you tell one person you are okay, okay it's good, okay, good because yours is pretty, yeah, but, ours but ours is, is nasty, nasty and, and nappy. Nah, that 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 can't fly. Like it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So. I, I have to look for it and show okay, you. Okay, don't worry about it right really, now. But, but, but I'm to, she we, really gonna, pissed me we, off. We have to take that, your word for it, but go that ahead. is a prime example. Okay. One, whenever that I see commercials for that show, everyone else, including the other African-American woman who's on there who has a Caucasian husband. He probably has a no huge No one cop. else is cooning. No, she has no ass. Oh, God no, damn it. No ass. No ass. Listen, women with no ass have to be arrested and fucking put in jail for life. It's no reason for you to be walking around with nothing there. It, How do you shit? Her back just goes into her thighs. No, it's no. How do you shit? Go ahead. Anyway, no one else is cooning except her. Cheryl Underwood. Whatever her name is. I don't know who she is. Yeah, Cheryl Underwood. Here, okay. here it is. Okay. And so, go ahead. So, what's your beef with it? My, what are you trying to say? My beef with it Because you have to remember, can I just stop you she, one second before yeah. you finish? A lot of people don't do what you do for their children's hair that is of color. You put in a that's lot of, my, that's but that's what I'm saying. But so you have to understand a, that that's why she's saying that. But, because if she met you and see what you do for your kids here, she wouldn't be able to do and say the things she says. Do they that's know? What she do they says. know why I saved that, saved her hair? Have we talked about that? No, we haven't disclosed that yet. 
All That's right. later on when they're going to be like, oh, shit, this right. dude is the transfer. But anyway, I have my children's umbilical cords. Yeah, you're a psycho. I have their, you their told, teeth. You told, you told, you, yeah. No, you don't need to do that. And but you, but I, you, I say, but I you, say you, these you told things. Them about, you told them about, like, because you have, like, a lot of psycho uh, characteristics. You told them about when you couldn't find me that day? We're talking about something else. Okay, okay? but yeah, yeah. No, but, we're but, talking about something but, else. But, so leave okay, that okay, listen. It. But why did the neighbor see you walk around in circles? What, can you please? Can All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Fucking jerk. So yeah, anyway, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, she is the epitome of what's wrong. Yes. With. I agree with you. Our but culture, I have, our I, race, but our I ethnicity. have to also say to you she, that that's she what has she the knows. Same hair as, that's what she okay, knows. And you know what? And I understand that. That's why. There's high blood pressure it's supposed to be an African American thing true, because true. people will eat what their parents ate and yeah. they ate what their parents ate yeah, and yeah. you won't take the time out You're to right. learn. You're but right. guess what? Yeah. It's 2013 mm-hmm. and we have the internet. And if you have an idea, chances are 99% chance someone has already thought of that idea, researched that idea, and put that information on the internet. Mm-hmm. If you had a question, the question is there. Mm-hmm. She pulled off her wig. She has to wear that wig why because she refuses to take care of her own hair mm-hmm. and learn what it takes to take care of her own hair okay i am in a community now and with these women and they are beautiful and their natural hair is beautiful they got and they can go some of them yeah okay all right. they can go into the up. kitchen mm-hmm. and the same foods that you're eating is what they're using to make their That's hair hot. so That's it's hot. all 100 percent natural no chemicals no other kind of stuff okay and she has the audacity to say that that's not beautiful. That that's nasty. What do you mean? She said. She said specifically that these women. She said nasty. But she for, said for who? Nasty. For, are you talking about her regular statement? Or yeah, you, are you her saying regular that, statement. But she's not talking about these women of of your your forums and stuff. She's just saying in general. She that, said in general that no one wants to keep African American hair. But you have to give her. You have to understand that what she's saying though. She's going based on what she knows. But Nigga our naps. hair. Well, not, our hair is nappy. This is considered nappy. My hair is considered nappy. That, that looks curly to me. Nappy and curly is pretty much the same thing. It is? Yes. Nappy is like when you, when you got like a fucking, like a grenade went off in the back of your head and just all fucking whacked out. Like, like you can't you, comb through it. Your hair. You, no, you can't comb through my hair right now. You can't comb through my hair right now. It looks curly on the surface. So I'm going to have to just go with that. I'm going to have to go with that. Meaning you can't take a comb and just go through it in the traditional way that we grew up going through okay. your hair okay you have to finger detangle and any natural woman whether they're mixed or whatever will tell you you can't just put a comb through their hair you can't okay because of because it is nappy but it's not nasty it's actually beautiful and i'm very proud of my hair okay. and i'm very as you should be proud of a lot of these women who are out there yeah with the natural that. movement and, with the natural and the movement. fact I agree. that I agree. she said that on national tv she got a fat ass there's certain things that you say does she, she have a fat ass? fat all over. Okay, so, yeah, so she can't even get a pass from the fellas. Look, that's her. Oh, no. Nah, so she can't even get a pass from the fellas Why then. Why you say, oh, no? Nah. No, no. She's too fat. She look like uh, the girl from Thin There. She's Trouble. So, and look what's how much name? gum she show. What's her name? I mean, I mean, what's the girl, the fat the fat girl, Promise? Prometheus? Oh, my God. Prometheus? What's her name? Isn't it? It's Promise, right? From that show? I don't know if her name is Promise. You talking about that? The fat girl. Is Gabrielle something? I don't know. But what was the name of a? That was the name of the movie. It wasn't Promise. was the name of the movie. She was like mad fat. What was the name of the movie? And it was that Terrell, not Terrell Owens. Terry no, Tyler, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Yeah, he fucks male actors. Yo, you realize that we never know the names of anybody when we talk about them? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm talking about the fat girls. Uh, Precious. 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 Yeah, there yeah, yeah, you yeah. go. I knew yeah, yeah, okay, so listen. I'm going to tell you something right now. So look, I'll be able to give Cheryl Underwood a pass if she had a fat ass, but not the rest of her body being fat. Because uh-huh. men are going to give you a pass. Like if you do crazy shit, but you got a fat ass. But see, it's... You can't say I'm going to say from the men. Remember, from the men point remember of that guy who was on the show with Stephen A. Smith and he made those comments about, about, about RG, RG3? RG3? Yeah, he's still looking there for There are work. certain things that you say in private. Uncle Tom stuff? Like Riley Cooper, you say in private. He, it was pri- It was him and his Caucasian friends. He exactly. was Exactly. There are certain things that you say in private. He'll jump the fence. And there are certain things up. that you say when the camera is on. Yeah. And if you feel that that's not keeping it real, then I keep it 100% fake. Because I'm not, I Keep I it will, real goes wrong. Dave Chappelle. Exactly. Go ahead. I will present myself a certain way here. When I do this podcast, I'm Mrs. G. Maya. So I'll say inappropriate things or whatever, but I don't you do go. That, you do that when you're not on there. I don't go to a PTA meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. go to work you, yeah. and do the same thing. 
What is wrong with you? No, I'm saying you, you're right. You like you, you separate. No, why are last you referencing? No, last night. What happened last night? Nothing. Nothing happened. What happened last night? Number saying. I said, Tell your audience. No, your hair. What feel, happened Your hair last feels night? good. Your hair it feels, feels good. good when you grab in my head. No, listen. Look, I'm not. Look, that's inappropriate, and that's not for this. Okay, that's for later. So what I'm saying is, she is a comedian. You're absolutely right. And when you go to a nightclub and you want to make jokes like that, mm-hmm. that's where that is an is you, appropriate you, depending on your audience. You know why? But when you're on a yeah. TV show She's like that, yeah, yeah. you that's have a, to understand that's especially that there's such a sensitive still, issue. Exactly. It's a sensitive issue. Exactly. And that's a Black TV show I mean, that women children have access to. That's not good. Children should not and most likely do not have access when you are making jokes at a nightclub. At a nightclub, yes. You're on syndicated television in the middle of the goddamn day. It's sort of like day. what happened when that guy was getting heckled from Seinfeld and he said that you usually have a fork up your ass, nigger. Exactly. What was his name? Michael something from the Seinfeld? Michael David? Kramer. Kramer. And That's not his real name, but go ahead. Even that, you know, even that, he said it, he was upset, and he said it then. No, but he I means it. I don't fault him. He means it. He probably does mean it. He means it. it. He means it. You can be racist and still act appropriately yes. when it comes down to yes. it. Yes. Just because someone is racist doesn't mean that they're going to run and get a noose. I understand that. I understand and that. And there's certain levels of racism. Some people will say, yeah, let them use my bathroom, but you can't marry my daughter. There's yes. certain levels. And I yes. respect that. And that's, yes. fine, that's fine. As long as you're honest about it. But back to Cheryl, you, cannot, you can't do that. You can't just go on national TV in that forum Listen. and say, your hair is pretty because it's silky. This hair is nasty, and that's the word that she used. Okay. This hair is nasty because it's nappy. But what I'm going to say is not, this. That's not true. I'm just going to tell you from a male Especially point of view. Especially when you look like that. If she had a fatty, I would give her a pass. That hair is not growing out of your hair. Listen, yes, it's your hair because you bought it. You have listen, a receipt, but it's not growing out of your if head. She like, had that's a, ridiculous. If she had a fatty, I would give her a pass. That's just from a male point of view. But if you look like that, you cannot so make those statements. So she can make it clap. That, that may give you a pass. That'll give her a pass. A pass for that ass. That rhymed. But I'm going to tell you this. You can't look like that and make comments like that. That reminds me of this girl I spoke to. And I okay. knew she was ignorant anyway. Okay. That she's, she's in a relationship that she doesn't want to be in. Okay. And she thought she was pregnant. Okay. And she gets paid damn near minimum wage. Okay. Living with her mother. Okay. She's 26, 27. Like okay. she's not in a good place to bring a child into it. Okay. But in her mind, she said, at least the baby, because the father was Puerto Rican, at least the baby will have good hair? light skin and good hair. I'm, I'm going to tell you a story about this. Um, that's a very good point that you just said right I here. haven't had a conversation with her since. Okay, but listen, I'm going to tell, tell you this right now. Look, that's, that's also an ep- epidemic that's striking the, the women of color um, whole environment. Because based on what Cheryl Fatty Underwood just said... Mm-hmm. That's intertwined into their minds to make them believe that they can't naturally produce their own natural, beautiful hair the way that you've done for the girls or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. They believe that there's no way for them to attain that. Yeah, she looked gorgeous this morning. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. You can shut up for like three minutes. But right. you put a lot of work into that. You get credit for that. Mm-hmm. But people really don't believe that there's a life after a nap. You know what I'm saying? Like when you got, when you got your naps rolling, they don't believe that there's ways to get over that. Mm-hmm. And it's like you said... The YouTube ladies have a lot of different forms that they do things and they show them. But at the same time, that's been an out for women of color to get a Spanish guy. Because most most women of color won't go Caucasian. They'll say, look, let me go. You know what I'm saying? Let me go to the Spanish guy that's like hip hop, like a fat Joe. Mm-hmm. Let me go like that. That way it's like the same it's thing. closer to being it, with... Exactly. Okay. Closer to, and that's why... And that, that's in the hood all over the place. Because they want their kids to have that... That whatever, so but at the same so time, they have a will black be boyfriend. With someone that they know is not going to be there for the kids, that yes. they know is going to cheat on them, yes. that they know is not going to get a job, yes. just because your kid will have good hair, good hair, yes. And also, those women are not really concerned about that because they usually have um, a man of color on the side with a huge dick. But that's just based on the um, experiences that I know. I don't know about what's happening after that, but. You know, that's basically what I had to say and share with you. But yeah. You just wanted to bring up somebody having a huge dick. Because so but not far, me. so far, not me. everything that we've talked to. I didn't to, say me. Every you said topic. Talk, you get so upset. Like, you every know, topic this that pops we talk about. I'm not going to be doing anything. I'm going to do with a huge dick. Let's, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I wish you all the success in the world with gotta, you might as well. Look, look. I wish you all no, but the just success. Take a look. Solo, wait. Why am I looking at your penis? Moment of silence. Moment of a silence. moment of silence while I look at your penis. Okay. Okay. 
All right. All right. Can I go stop ahead. looking yeah, at it now? Go ahead. Go ahead. You good. You. You're good to go. I wish you the best. I hope that Jemaya's world really becomes successful and becomes mainstream. Okay. Just give me my cut. Okay. Because I'm not going to sit around while you fuck all these other broads. Okay. I'm going to... I. You don't know Psycho until okay. I have a suspicion that okay. you're fucking somebody else. Fucking you're gonna multiple have a, women or... I don't give a fuck if it's multiple women, yes, it's if on it's one woman. Yes, it's on I don't show. care if you get a blowjob from them or if you only get a blowjob, if you get a hand job. I don't give job? a... I, don't use profanity. I will about a hand fucking job? hurt you. What about a hand job? I will hurt you. If you get I'll anything from them that I'm already giving you, you around? will have a fucking problem with me. Oh, so you, therefore, just give me my cut, and we just part a reach ways. Around, a reach around? A reach around is usually what a gay man gives to someone. So he's fucking from the back, and then he reaches around and jerks the guy off that he's fucking. So if you get that, then we have a whole other issue that okay. we can't even, okay, I we know, can't I even discuss. I, I don't know what's going on, but you've been using profanity at a high context. Because you pissed me off. Okay, so reach arounds are no good. You said hand jobs. Yo, I'm done. I'm done. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, I said. <laughs> all, right, all right, stop. All right, so. All right, Um. so that, yeah, we're, we're pretty much good. Um. I guess we, I guess we, what we're talking about, we could probably do like, this is good, this is good for them for the week, no? I don't know. I'm not even talking to you right now. You really pissed me off. Do not pull it out. All right, so listen, I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. Oh, my God. What, what? What? Why are you so stressed out? I don't even know what's going on with you. Because this whole podcast for a goddamn hour has been about your penis. I'm pretty the sure. The whole I'm podcast. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. No matter what we talk about, some t- somehow your penis come and now, pre- now you're pulling it out. What's the purpose of this? I'm pretty sure that they've gotten a lot more than what you're saying. And you're really emphasizing this for reasons that I know why because you're doing Because why it. is it in the podcast? Doing- why are you pulling it out you're- while we're doing a podcast? Okay, but you know you can't do this once you start putting like whatever else on there. Can't do what? Pull your penis out in the middle of a podcast. Why? Why can't I do that? Whatever. You're right. Why can't I do that? Do what you gotta do. Don't touch me! Why can't I do that? Are you gonna end the podcast or do you have something else to talk about? Stop it! No, I just wanna know. I wanna ask you. Why can't I do that? Eventually, are you gonna put your face on here? Are you gonna actually do like, like showing yourself? Are you? Just yeah, yeah. Do I, this? I may do it, but I, I want to do that for special occasions, like for this walk that we're doing, September 29th. Uh huh. We've I've actually have confirmed like five, six people. Okay. That's gonna be coming from different states or whatever. Okay. Um, they they'll see me. You know, I told them I'll take pictures with them. They want no me to... meaning. Are you gonna actually make a video? No, I don't know if I want to do that. Doing a podcast. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't. I don't really give a fuck about you know what I'm saying. Doing all because then I gotta. We have to really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have to, like, do shit. Like, what? You got to get a haircut? No, nah, I'm looking good right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like a couple yeah, guys a couple guys from the football game said, tell me that I'm handsome. So I was like, yo, you want to fuck? And then uh, they was like, no. They took it the wrong way. So I moved on from it. But, um, you know. I can't. I can't <laughs> so, all right. So, but, so but listen. Stupid. Okay. I can't. But I don't know. But like I said, I, I want to save that for things that things that, that concern me. Like, you know, blood drives. Been making people come out to do. Are which, you going to advertise this blood drive that we're hosting? I well, I'm not going to advertise it to like like this because it's not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it like this on this level right now. I'm just talking about an advocate for certain things, like you know what I'm saying on on a wider scale for like Wish dot org is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know. The, I follow the um blood drive. You should probably follow them too. You follow them on Twitter. No. You should follow. I follow them. Okay. And they send me updates because they know who I am based on what I do. Yeah. Um. Uh. Basically, stuff stuff like that. Like, once we get to a certain point where I can go and actually do stuff to make a difference, like, blood drives, wish.org, you know, uh, foundations that help these children, things like that, that's what my concern is. I'm not concerned with showing my face to let people, like, just have a video. Like, that's not what I, I don't care about that. If, if showing my face is going to help do what do the things that I want to get done, you know, these life-threatening diseases and people go to blood drives. I mean, drives, I think it will because if, listen, you, if showing your face is going to get you more views... And then reach Look, more people with the if, issues. If, if, listen, if me doing that would help these kids that I that I've seen, uh-huh. and and make people go out and know that there's a lack of old negative blood out there, and go donate and 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 go and you know what I'm saying support these walks and these things for these kids going through that's going through all this radiation and all this chemo and all the shit that's happening and try to fight and do something to make a difference. Uh-huh. If me showing my face would change that, I would do that. But I'm not doing that just because people want to see me. That doesn't that doesn't concern me. Listen, my, my, my purpose is That doesn't is that, concern me either. I'm just thinking that it will boost your ratings and boost your views and okay. boost everything else that you're trying to do. That's all. I understand what you're saying. And like I said, 
if if that if that was that's not guaranteed for me and for what is going on right now if that was something that was proposed to me from whoever I'm dealing with like whatever like 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 for instance if I wanted to go meet Jersey Demick mm-hmm. in the city and he wanted to do like a video like that yeah. and it was about something you know predom- you know that that pertained to something that made sense mm-hmm. things like that I would do that but I, I I'm not doing it just because you know what I'm saying? that's not what I do okay you know what I'm saying I, if if that like I said when I go like people are so excited like, I think people that... are excited to meet me uh, that's going to that walk yeah. like very very excited like, like I told them I'm gonna, like, the people ask me to sign their shirts I'm gonna do that for the people that actually bought the shit and stuff like that but it's not even about me doing all that stuff because I don't care about that it's the fact that they're showing up and they're putting thirty dollars towards something that is gonna save a child. You know, like not necessarily save that child's life, but give the child an experience to get them away from that fucking deadly every day. You know what I'm saying? Pour in their chest, getting chemotherapy shit. Yeah. That 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 disturbs me. Like I said, with anything else that's going on, I don't care about I I don't care about all this internet thugging and shit like that and all the stuff that people do. What concerns me is is the is the embitterment and what we're gonna leave for these kids. All children, all races involved, because it touches everybody, and when and when it touches them, you know that that's when everybody realizes that we're all the same thing. When they're all in the same room and they're getting that same diagnosis, that's when everybody realizes, okay, this man of color is not as bad, and that's what I want to help change. If me doing that will help people go out and start doing shit like this, eating healthier, using quinoa instead of fucking rice. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of themselves and making the better things. If, if, if my people of color will stop wearing skinny jeans, pull their pants up, start doing things that, that make Why sense. Why can't they wear skinny it's jeans? It's unacceptable. Because I don't, want, I don't want my friend... Like, if any of my friends wore skinny jeans, I'll tell them right now, listen, bro, if you're going to come around me and you rock a skinny jeans... Is it because he's sagging the skinny jeans? I don't, 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 wear, don't wear jeans that your female should be wearing. That, listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. Skinny jeans for men. Listen to the name of the fucking thing that you're saying. It's skinny because it's fitted to your leg. Exactly. What are you trying to show? You're not just trying not to be baggy. Okay. So you wear skinny jeans when they're not when especially when the person is skinny. Don't be fat and wear a goddamn skinny jeans. That happens all the time. But if the person is skinny, just like yoga pants for women, and they're not what yoga pants for women. A lot of fat. A lot of fat women wear. They they shouldn't be doing it. Oh, I thought you were saying it because I wear my yoga pants but they've never seen a yoga class in their lives but anyway oh good i thought that you meant like sagging like sagging skinny jeans is inappropriate fat people wearing skinny jeans is inappropriate but if you have a kid who's skinny and he's wearing skinny jeans if i have a fit, kid if i had a kid that was a male a he, friend, would, he would he would he would they, they would listen the skinny jeans are un- listen that's not going on okay i have i have friends that have sons okay mm-hmm. they don't wear skinny jeans Okay. Okay, that's the. the no, I'm just saying. I, no, I'm just saying they're not wearing skinny jeans because the father Why? also understands that. Listen, men are not supposed to be wearing skinny jeans. Caucasian men wear fitted jeans all the time. Fitted jeans and skinny jeans are two different things. No, they're not. Skinny jeans is what Kanye West is wearing and Lil Wayne and jeggings. Yeah, but they're sagging them. Jeggings and skinny jeans are two completely different listen, things. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Skinny. If my skinny friend comes over in a pair of skinny jeans, skinny I'm gonna jeans. open hand listen, slap the shit listen, out of him. Listen, 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 listen. Jeans. Have were always designed to be fitted, okay. Narrow at the ankle and fitted to your body. Okay. Jeans were for men and women. Okay, always I got designed you. to be fitted. I got you. Then all of a sudden, this stupid baggy wearing them so big style came out. Okay. So now they became baggy and loose. Okay. Now go. It's just a return, a cycle, like it always is with the trend, I is to go back to a fitted jean. But they don't want to call it fitted because then men won't wear it. That's why they call it skinny jean. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. I understand we have different preferences and things like that, and we can agree to disagree. Why are you talking like that, and you got your eyes like, what are because, you doing right now? Because I'm going to tell you this right now. If my friend came over here with skinny jeans on, uh huh, I'm going to open hand slap the shit out of him in his face. All right. And that's the... No, no, listen. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Hey. You almost pushed me off the goddamn couch. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to open hand slap the shit out of him in his face. You're not going to open hand slap yes, I am. any of your friends. Yes, I am. That you invite over to the yes, house. Yes, I am. Just because they're wearing skinny jeans. Because they wouldn't in, be wearing you, those goddamn skinny jeans. Will you insult them for the entire night and make them uncomfortable? Yes, but you do that anyway. <laughs> Listen. You do that anyway to any guest. That's why we haven't... How long has it been since we had a guest over here? How many years? It's not because they don't want to come over. It's because I don't want them over. They don't give a fuck exactly. what I say to them. Yeah, listen. If I invite somebody, they're going to come over. They You're just right. want me to invite them. I've never had anybody turn me down from an invite. 
Okay. What you what what's up? Nothing. I'm just saying. I, I just like I said, I'm a douche. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. That okay. is true. But I'm gonna tell that you that is the truest thing that you, you have going said on with it? so far during why, this podcast. Why are you still going on with it? I just I was disagreeing with you. Okay, look, I'm I'm, I'm gonna make a rule because if we have cameras on, it, your eyes can't be doing what it's doing. Look, my eyes can do whatever they want to do. Okay. Um. Listen. So the bottom line is this. Look, it's sitting it's sitting on the couch. Don't, don't touch me. Don't even think about it. So now I can't touch you. But you okay. can talk about it, make me look okay. at it, but I can't touch it. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. The bottom line is this. Um. Just to me. And my friends came over here in skinny jeans. Oh my god, here he goes again. I'm gonna open hand slap them in their fucking face. And that's where I'm in this because I'm gonna tell you this right now. You're so <laughs> <stupid>. <laughs> I'm so all right, it so listen, so that's pretty much what it is, man. Like I said, I'm going to try to do it, you know, they, they, you know, as much as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast, man. Your, your, your friend who lives in the South doesn't doesn't wear those? Which friend that lives in the South? I only have, like, one friend. I, exactly. So why would you ask me which one <laughs> if you only have one? Who you said? You just said his name loud. They heard you, you no, idiot. I didn't. All right, I don't know. Okay, Um. no. You saw him. We just saw him when we went on vacation. I know, but I didn't see him all the time. His- yeah, he's a... Yo, listen. You got... I, I'm trying to explain. You know how I am, and you know I only keep a certain type of people around me. I don't know why you're asking me if my friends wear skinny jeans. They will ask me permission before they do that. Oh, and my God. Me- why? Why would they ask you permission like you're their father? Like, you have you have the fashion sense of Steve I, Jobs. I don't need... I don't, yeah, I do. So, why would they ask you any questions about fashion? And, and I will go on to be a philanthropist as well. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Oh, my God. Here he goes. I can't. Listen, my friends, I'm going to tell you why I call them friends. Because they grew up with me. They're not just friends because, like, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? A fly-by-whim associate. Uh-huh. They, they, we went through a lot of things together. And I made sure that everybody was okay. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh-huh. Whatever I had to do. Sometimes it didn't end very well for other people, but I made sure the people that I cared about were taken well, taken well care of. Uh-huh. Since a youth. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, you know how I roll. So you don't even try to come near, girl. All right, honey, please. No, don't honey me, because okay, I'll choke the on. fuck out you. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> but listen. Back it. But I, what did you just use? Use that kind of derogatory term? I'm, what? Apologize. That word. Apologize to who? For your in, for every one of your insensitive remarks. Are you kidding me? Yes. Lowbrow production. Everything is insensitive. Okay, you got a point. I use whatever derogatory term I want, and there will be no apologies. Unless I tell you to make an apology. F all that. What'd you just say? I said F. <laughs> apologize. <laughs> now. Ow. Say it. Please. Say it. Say it. Just say the words. Say it. Get it out. Go. I'm sorry. There we go. Good stuff. I didn't mean to choke you in the locks, but that's what it has. That's what it takes sometimes. But listen, guys, like I said, I'll see when I can get back to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Definitely spread the word. Get it out there. Let's make one of these podcasts go viral, man. And until next time, I'm not going to talk about my dick. Podcasts don't go viral. That's what you thought from the past. Videos go viral. Okay. There has to be audio that's that's entertaining with a visual that's entertaining. Okay, and you can shut up before you get a fucking eye patch like a goddamn pirate because that's what you're going to be walking around with in a second. But other than that, I'm going to holler at you dudes later. Hope you enjoyed it. Go fuck yourselves twice. One love.